Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and today we're going to be talking about something called the Crypto J-Curve. Now, a Crypto J-Curve is a very long-term pattern that you can observe in different markets, not just in cryptocurrency, but we're going to be talking about it in Bitcoin today. But it's essentially a ratio of two different types of value that you can put on uh, put on an asset, and it's actually a very important concept to understand because the concepts that go into building a j-curve are very important for deciding when you should or should not actually invest or trade a cryptocurrency so let's get right into it uh, let's read this article here by chris berniski he does a very good job of breaking this down and analyzing it so shout out to him obviously this is his article as the crypto asset markets develop we will see many booms and busts as enthusiasm waxes and wanes waxing and waning is all part of riding a rocket to the moon which we are absolutely going to the moon guys don't worry about that don't worry about the pullback right now uh, bitcoin has been through a few boom bust cycles already most notably the waxing enthusiasm leading into late 2013 when bitcoin first broke one thousand dollars followed by the painful waning that lasted until january 2015 if we come here on the market we can see that loud and clear that would be back here and actually, as my chart loads, you actually see the J-curve in front of you. But what he's talking about is this massive run-up we had at the very end of 2013. And we pulled back all the way to $175, down to like $166 even right here. So that's what they're talking about. Uh, and Bitcoin's bottom at $175. With, Bit with Bitcoin pushing now towards $4,000, uh, this article was written on the 12th of August in 2017. So the, the numbers are a bit outdated, but the principles are still very, very applicable. Uh, up nearly 4% uh, 4 times in 2017 alone, we are once again in a period of waxing enthusiasm. In private equity, the J-curve refers to a portfolio's cash flow. That's not neither here nor there. The basic idea of the crypto J-curve stems from how market values a cryptocurrency or a crypto asset over time. As I explained at the token summit, I find the I think uh, I think of a crypto asset's price as composed of two forms of value: current utility value (CUV) and discounted expected utility uh, discounted expected utility value. Excuse me. So this is actually how I think of cryptocurrency or how I think of crypto assets also. And it, honestly, I think a lot of us kind of think this way. It's kind of basically what they're talking about is the CUV is the current utility value. So we can relate that to, in cryptocurrency to adoption. So we can say, OK, well, what is the CUV of Bitcoin? Well, we have X number of people using it. We have X number of people spending this much Bitcoin. We can look at it through the number of transactions that are happening. We can look at it through the market capitalization. Well, not the market capitalization, actually, but it's kind of a vague thing that you kind of have to, you know, throw a dart at and hope you hit it. But it's um, the current utility value is actually how much the the um, the commodity is actually being used for what it was supposed to be used for. So for Bitcoin, like I said, it'd be for transactions. The disc the discounted expected utility value (DEUV) is essentially what the market believes that that utility will be worth in the future. So we all believe that one of these cryptocurrencies is probably going to end up being, if not the one of the one of a one of many of a global of a global cryptocurrency in the future because we all think that cryptocurrency is going to completely revolutionary revolutionize finance i certainly think we all think that and I, I certainly think that myself so the discounted expected utility value is basically what we think the val the cryptocurrency or in his terms the crypto asset will be worth in the future in relation to what it is worth now because right now we're at a discount compared to where it will be in the future as the cuv the um the current utility value increases over time so let's continue here. The latter of which some prefer to call speculative value. Yeah, you could call this speculative value. We're going to call it DEUV to continue using his terms. Upon trading, enthusiasm for a crypto asset is high and typically continues to wax for a while. In this period, the CUV of the asset is minimal or non-existent. If there is no protocol, that is exactly what pretty much every single cryptocurrency here on CoinMarketCap other than Bitcoin is currently going through. You could scroll down this list, every single one of these cryptocurrencies, literally every single one of them say they want to do something, but they're not doing it yet. Bitcoin is the only cryptocurrency that has actually proven itself in the use case that it says it is going to be. And crypt uh, Bitcoin is used in real estate, it's used in all kinds of transactions. Ripple is getting very close, a lot of banks are starting to use Ripple, Ethereum is getting a lot closer. Um, NEO has a lot of decentralized applications on it, Ethereum does also, Ethereum has ERC-20 tokens running on its, on its protocol. So a lot of these cryptocurrencies do actually deliver on what they say they're going to deliver on but it's nowhere near it's currently nowhere near what they say they want to do in the future so um back to this upon trading enthusiasm for crypto assets high and typically continues to wax for a while in this period the cv of the asset is minimal that's what i was talking about a lot of those crypto a lot of these cryptocurrencies don't really their current utility value isn't very high because not many people are using them yet if you go on neo's website you look under their decentralized applications thing there's like 12 decentralized applications and their net their protocol is supposed to be able to handle however many hundreds and thousands of them so the cuv of pretty much every single one of these cryptocurrencies including 
but not limited to bitcoin is very low right now so we're basically we're basically trading on deuv which is what this article is saying the asset is then largely composed of deuv and thereby exposed to the whims of mr market so mr market is what we're all getting upset about right now because it's pulling bitcoin under but essentially what the j curve looks like is what you see here uh, you get a first nice little pump right here, which is kind of what we saw in 2013. That's why I have the Bitcoin chart up here. We saw a nice little pump right here. Very nice little pump, but Bitcoin had basically zero utility value back here. You couldn't go out to you couldn't go out to Subway and buy Bitcoin and, and buy stuff with that. Actually, I think Bit, I think Subway was actually accepting Bitcoin at the time, but you couldn't really do anything with Bitcoin other than trade with other people that were really into cryptocurrency. It was a it was a much more niche thing than it is now. And right now, it's still much more niche than it will be five, ten years from now because a lot of people. Have never even heard of Bitcoin, let alone made a Coinbase account, let alone bought Bitcoin, and etc. So the first little peak that you see on this chart right here, with a high percentage DEUV and low percentage CUV, is right here. And the high percentage DEUV is people buying and buying and buying on speculative value, on speculation that Bitcoin will be worth a lot more in the future. And they were right because Bitcoin ran to twenty thousand dollars. But back here, the low CUV is what eventually pulled the market down because it made it into a bubble. So. As we can see on this chart, high DEUV, high DEUV, low CUV, low CUV. So we had very high expectation of what this market, of what this crypto asset would do in the future, but the crypto asset wasn't really doing anything at the time, so it managed to pull the market back down. But as the market pulls back down, then the then the CUV, the actual current utility value, the utility value of the crypto asset continues to rise. Bitcoin adoption continues to rise. That's another way you can think about that. There's very low percentage DEUV because we've got 200 something articles on bitcoin obituary saying the bitcoin's dead bitcoin's dead sell all your bitcoin and then you get people selling down here at 167 dollars and then they're very upset when bitcoin goes to 20,000. but the cuv continues to grow over time as adoption continues to grow over time but the deuv of people expecting it to be worth a lot in the future goes down because the market's going down so that's what this initial little slump is right here and then eventually the cuv continues to grow continues to grow and that eventually brings the market up a little bit and then that starts to kind of snowball the deuv going up and that's exactly what we saw in 2017 and uh, 2016 and 2017 with the market just exploding and now it's almost like the it's almost like the cycle is exactly resetting because if you look at this market that we have right here and you look at this market that we have right here they look pretty similar now i'm not going to say that bitcoin's going to fall back to a sixth of what it was at its all-time high although it's already pretty close or is art Excuse me. It's already getting closer to the to, closer to it than uh, it's falling faster than it was back here. Let's put it that way. I don't think that's going to happen. But the cycle that we're talking about here could very well predict that happening. That's kind of the classical stair step pattern that we see here. If we come onto the neo chart, there it is. Let me show you this on the neo chart. So the neo chart kind of had a similar thing. You could kind of call these these little right here J curves. You could call that J curve if you want. The CUV of this of this token was continuing to expand, although it wasn't a major contributing factor to the price action early on here. So let's continue here. Note that the above image high percent. Uh, that's not what we want to look at. As the crypto asset progresses through time, the developer team and crypto network inevitably encounters unforeseen ro unforeseen roadblocks building distri uh, building distributed systems is hard and so too is managing the people within them with such roadblocks uh, market enthusiasm wanes let me turn that off i am sorry market enthusiasm wanes uh, weighing on the deuv mathematically comp mathematically compression of the DU deuv can be thought of as uh, any of the number of variables hiking as you can see right here it's just a bunch of different things that could bring the actual expected value down in other words, a lot of bears enter the market and keep bringing the market down. That's essentially what we're talking about here. As you can see on this little chart here, this is exactly what I was talking about in the Bitcoin chart. We have expanding DEUV, compressing DEUV, expanding DEUV, and then this art, this author of this article might say that we are now experiencing compressing DEUV as people kind of taper off their ex expectations for what Bitcoin will be worth in the future, which is causing this bear market that we're in. So. That's essentially what I wanted to talk about in this video, guys. I think I'm. I think I got my point across. I very. I very much hope I did. If I didn't, or if any of this is uh, confusing to you because I didn't explain it well, feel free to ask me any questions in the comments down below, or you can join the Discord and ask me there. The link to this article will be in the description down below, so you can go read this through on your own. And I highly encourage you to because it's actually a very interesting thing. And like I said at the beginning of the video. The expanding DEUV or the, uh, DEUV and CUV are things that you want to understand in uh trading because you want to understand if the market is 
in a bubble. Because if it's in a bubble, then people are expecting that the D then if it's in a bubble, the DEUV is going to be much much higher than the CUV. And that, and if we were to draw an actual like market of what Bitcoin should be worth based on just its utility, it'd probably be down here at like two or three thousand dollars. So a lot of this market is actually comprised of DEUV, which leads us to believe that we may be in a bubble. So that's important to understand. But if I didn't make any of that clear, feel free to ask me in the comments down below. You can join the Discord and ask me or any of the good people in the Discord. Shout out to everybody in the Discord. We've got like 60 people now, which is really nice. And if you're interested, then you can come and read this article. There will be a link to it in the description down below. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.